How long will a Nissan Titan last? How many miles are on your Nissan Titan? And should you buy a used Nissan Titan? In this video, I'm gonna share with you some data that might help answer these questions. Hey, what's up my friends? My name is Bill. Welcome to Cars That Last on today's video. How many miles will a Nissan Titan last? I've got some great data in this video. Maybe you already own a Nissan Titan or maybe you're in the marketplace for a used pickup truck. This information might help you in answering those questions. Now, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I study the car marketplace. I love to analyze data. This data can help me determine which vehicles might last longer than the others. I actually drive a Chevy pickup, but I do like the Nissan Titan. The inspiration from this video came from my wife's cousin who actually is on his second Nissan Titan. He bought the first generation Nissan Titan back in 2004 and he traded it in on the 2019 last year. I got a chance to drive that 2019. What a beautiful truck. But recently studying this information, I just came out with the video, the top 10 half ton pickup trucks that last 300,000 miles. And spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that, the Nissan Titan finished number 11. It didn't even make the top 10. And I thought maybe we need to take a closer look. So real quick, the Titan comes with a 5.6 liter V8. The first generation was from 2003 to 2015. The second generation started in 2016 to present. Second generation also comes with an XD model, which has a heavier duty platform. And that vehicle also has an optional Cummins diesel through 2020. Now in this video, we're gonna look at longevity. We're also gonna compare the Titan to the number one vehicle in the top 10 trucks that last 300,000 miles to see how they stack up side by side. In addition, I analyzed the data for the first three years of the Titan from 2004 to 2007. So there's an apples to apples comparison. So let's take a look at some stats. In my study of the top 10 trucks, the Titan again finished number 11. Out of over 400 vehicles for sale across the United States, less than $10,000, 12.3% of vehicles had above 200,000 miles. That's not necessarily a bad number, especially when you compare it to other vehicles like small cars, which generally are less than that. But the Titan only had one truck above 300,000 miles. That was a 2004 model with 308,000 miles. Now, Nissan Titan fans, I have checked out the blogs as well. I, I have seen some trucks that have four to 500,000 miles on the odometer. So I know it's possible, but how does this compare to the number one vehicle in the top 10 trucks? the Toyota Tundra. In comparison, the Tundra had almost 45% of trucks above 200,000 miles. That was out of almost 600 trucks. In addition, the Tundra had 10.7% above 300,000 miles, and two of their trucks were above 400,000 miles. And as some of you know, there are two million mile Toyota Tundras with a 4.7 liter V8. So will the Titan last that long? So next in my study, I thought, well, maybe the Titan just doesn't have enough trucks. They do have low production numbers. The Titan has only 628,000 vehicles produced from 2004 to present. Compare that to the Toyota Tundra with 2.3 million trucks. So yeah, you're gonna see more Tundras at the higher mileage. So let's do a closer look. So I compared the years 2004 to 2007 for vehicles less than $10,000 in price. For the Titan, there were 258 vehicles, 15.5% had more than 200,000 miles, with the one truck above 300,000 miles at 308,000 miles. For the same years of 04 to 07 for the Tundra, there were 360 vehicles and a total of nine trucks had more than 300,000 miles and 39.7% of vehicles had above 200,000 miles and two Tundras again had above 400,000 miles. And so at this point you might say, well, yeah, Bill, uh, you know, Tundras are a lot more expensive. So let's take a look at some data regarding that on affordability. Is the Titan more affordable than the Tundra? So I did an apples to apples comparison again for 04 to 07, and I looked for trucks under $10,000 with under 150,000 miles. For the Titan, 94 out of those 258 trucks, or 36% of the trucks, had less than 150,000 miles for less than $10,000. For the Tundra, there were 79 trucks out of 360 vehicles, or 21.9%. So it seems to me that the Tundra does hold its resale value better. From what I see with the data, the Tundra is costing a little bit more, but I do see a lot more longevity in the vehicles. Now I'm not here to bash on the Titan. Now the downside with the Titan is lack of production. So it might be a lot harder to find a used vehicle. But here's a question. Do you really need your truck to last 300,000 miles? If you really like the Titan, maybe you could find a used Titan 
under $10,000, under 150,000 miles, and you drive it for 100,000 miles, and you sell it with 250,000 miles. You could still have a very good truck. Now the Titan is known for technology. There are a lot of really nice technology features with the Titan and storage features, which I thought were pretty cool. Let's talk about the problems. One of the struggles with putting this information is there aren't a lot of known problems with the Titan. In 2004, the first year, they did have problems with the differentials. In particular, the rear differential would fail. And from 2004 to 2006, the axles would leak. Overall, in my study, there are just not that many known reliability issues with the Titan. I did find it interesting in this year's Consumer Reports magazine, the 2017 Titan is listed as one of the worst cars for reliability. And so what does this all really mean? What I see in studying this information, I've looked at the Titan for a couple of years. I really don't see a lot of these trucks hitting the 300,000 mark. I'm not saying that they can't. Certainly maintenance has something to do with that. But do you really need your truck to last that long? Like I said, maybe you drive it to 250,000 miles and trade it in. At least you have some resale value there. They are harder to find due to the low production numbers. So if you want something different than everybody else has on your street, maybe you want to consider the Titan. If your budget is 10 grand and you have a choice between a really nice looking Nissan Titan and a beat up Toyota Tundra because of the higher resale value, maybe it makes sense to go with that Titan. So in my opinion, the jury's still out if we're gonna see a number of these trucks above 300,000 miles. I do see a lot of other trucks, such as the Chevy Silverado, the Ford F-150, and the Toyota Tundra, more often above 300,000 miles. But again, going back to my wife's cousin, he absolutely loves his Titan. He loves the idea of driving a vehicle that not everybody else is driving. And maybe the Titan is a choice because it might be more affordable on a budget. All right, well, I'd love to hear your comments how many miles are on your Nissan Titan? And if you do drive a Titan, what issues have you had? Your comments help everybody watching this video. As always, I've got a ton more great videos coming your way. Consider hitting the subscribe button if you like this kind of information. Thanks so much for watching. Namaste.